What's up and welcome to my point of view. I am your fat and opinionated host. And what we're looking at right now is the Fort DeSoto camping grounds of Florida, where it is believed that Brian Laundrie could be possibly hiding out at this very moment. But regardless if Brian is still at this park or not, thanks to a tip given to Dog the Bounty Hunter, we now know that Brian's family did indeed visit this park in early September. Now, when these reports first started rolling out, it was said that Brian and his family were caught on surveillance video. But then after a while, it seemed like those reports kind of got muff muffled and it was unclear as to whether or not they were caught on video or not. But now it has been confirmed that surveillance video from the Fort DeSoto Park has been turned over to the FBI. Now, I for one know that there are cameras all around this camping ground. So once it was confirmed that Brian and his family did visit this camping ground, I already assumed for 100% fact that they had to be caught on camera. Plus, we know that some campers actually caught them on video and in some few pictures as well that happened to be camping next to the family. So the real story here to me isn't the surveillance video. It's whether or not the FBI showed up to retrieve that surveillance video before Dog the Bounty Hunter entered the situation. Because if it took freaking Dog the Bounty Hunter to enter this investigation, to get this information and to get this tip, and the FBI didn't have any knowledge about this trip, and they're just now receiving this video footage, then that's a damn shame. And maybe perhaps a lot of us just have too much confidence in the FBI. I mean, to keep it real guys, this would not be the first time that Dog the Bounty Hunter captured someone that the FBI could not. Do your research, look it up. This is not Dog's first rodeo. He has captured people that the FBI could not capture. He has traveled to other countries and captured people that the FBI could not find. So this isn't a first time situation. Crazier, I don't wanna say crazier things have happened, but things kind of along these lines have happened. Dog the Bounty Hunter has gone to Mexico and captured people on the FBI's wanted list before. But I wanna believe that hopefully, like please, 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 hopefully the FBI had some information about this. Hopefully the FBI collected this surveillance video a long time ago. But then I get to thinking, because yesterday a woman came forward saying that she was camping right next to the Laundry family, and she even had pictures of the Laundry family's camper and their truck, and a picture of what looked like Brian in the background of one of her selfies. And you see, that lady came forward because she found out about this whole story from Dog the Bounty Hunter when he was online talking about the Fort DeSoto camping ground. None of us were talking about Fort DeSoto camping grounds before Dog the Bounty Hunter entered the chat and gave out that information. So this lady came forward and found, you know, come to find out that she was camping right next to them. And she didn't know that because of the FBI. So what does that tell y'all? Think for one second, what does that tell y'all? That tells y'all that the FBI didn't even investigate or call anyone who they knew were camping right next to Roberta Laundry. I've seen the registry. I've seen Roberta's name on the registry and I've seen the other names around her name as well. The FBI should have contacted those people to ask them what they've seen, but they did not. Local news found this woman. The local news found this woman because she was camping next to Roberta Laundry. The local news found her, not the FBI. The FBI didn't contact her, tell her, ask her a single question. The news contacted her because they saw her name on the same list that we all saw. So I think there is a huge possibility here that the FBI didn't even know anything about this camping ground. They could act like they're so confident and they know everything, but I'm telling you guys, if they didn't even ask this lady a single question, then why should I believe that they had that they knew about this camping ground and that they collected this surveillance video a long time ago and they were already on top of this and Dog the Bounty Hunter is late? Because once again, the FBI did not contact the lady who was on the registry staying right next to the laundry family. The local news had to contact the lady. And then she told them about how she had these pictures and about the story. But that's all I have to say about this situation. It's honestly like, it's frustrating to know that 
Dog the Bounty Hunter could be out here doing more than local law enforcement, the FBI, like the people who we pay taxes to. Yet we have this old dude out here in a flannel shirt with his chest hairs poking out, mullet, sunglasses, cowboy boots, riding around this freaking park looking for this guy. And he has better tips than the FBI. And as of right now, supposedly Dog the Bounty Hunter is at this park. I do know that there are some independent canine units searching the park with Dog. And there are boats surrounding the area looking for him around the waterways. So the search is on. The search is on. I'm not too sure Brian's still here, but if they could find anything. And just Dog the Bounty Hunter being there. Just him being there. Regardless if they're looking around for no reason and Brian's long gone. Just the fact that he's there shows you an effort, but also just the fact that he's there opens up the opportunity for more people to talk to him who are also in the area. Because this is a camping ground. Some people come there and they rent out a camping area for a month on end, and they don't really like to talk to people. They may have seen something, but they don't really like to talk to people. And here's Dog the Bounty Hunter. You look out your freaking window and Dog the Bounty Hunter is snooping around. You're like, what the hell? And you go talk to Dog the Bounty Hunter and tell him, you know, some he said, she said from around the campground. Because I bet you there's a lot of he said, she said, little whispers going on around this camping ground that aren't going to make it to the police's ears or law enforcement's ears, but they might make it to Dog's ears. But hopefully they catch him. But I want to know your opinions and your thoughts about all of this. Do you think the FBI collected this footage a long time ago? Or do you think they are just now getting up on game about this park and everything? Do you think Dog broke this story? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next update in this case. And as always, remember to remain opinionated. We're out here at the island. This would be and could be a perfect spot for him to hide. Uh, not too many people out here, but there's a lot of environmental things that we're gonna fight. So here we go. The search now is really on. The search has just begun.